Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert, and we've got another quick one here for you. So if you are turning on your 3D printer and you're seeing, you know, no signs of life, it's not powering on, nothing's happening, we've got to start troubleshooting the power supply, right? We've got to see, do we need to replace the power supply? There are a few things to test before you just straight up do that. The first thing that you want to do is check with your plug, right? And you want to see, take that out from your printer and then plug in the, the same wall socket that you're using for the 3D printer. You want to plug in a lamp, a light, something to make sure that you're getting power there. There's always a chance that you popped a fuse and you're not even getting power out of the wall. So that's the first thing that you want to eliminate. Okay, if you are getting power out of the wall, now you want to try swapping your power cable. Hopefully you've got another power cable that'll fit because there is a chance that the problem is your power cable. It isn't necessarily that, but we want to eliminate that possibility before you drop 50 bucks on a power supply. Another thing to do, and I'll admit, okay, I've done this a couple times, I have either not had it plugged in or I had it plugged into a power strip and the power strip was turned off or sometimes the 3D printer is off. You know, make sure it's plugged in, make sure that it's getting power, like I said, make sure it's on, and, you know, chances are that's not it, but you just always want to check. You, you don't want to be replacing your power supply, find out that you just didn't have it plugged in or something. I've been guilty of that, right? So keep that in mind. And that's basically it. The last thing that you can do, if you find that it's still not working, is it check the fuse. Now in my case the fuse is right here. You pop this cover off and you can check the fuse. And the, the reason that fuse is there, let's say that uh, the bed takes more power than the power supply wants to give. It can pop that fuse without damaging anything and you just replace this fuse for whatever it is, 50 cents. I don't know what they cost, right? So um, that's another thing to keep in mind. Replace that fuse or at least check it first. And then if all those things failed, if it's still not working, now you might be at that point where you need to replace that power supply. That could be something on the order of 50 bucks. It's not that bad, but you want to test these other things first. So to recap, first, test the outlet. Make sure you're actually getting power. Plug a lamp or something into it. Make sure you're getting power out of the wall. You didn't pop a fuse in your house, right? Check your power cable. Maybe your power cable's bad. It's unlikely, but check it, right? Unless you just want to spend 50 bucks. Make sure that your power supply, everything, this is plugged in and that, you know, if you're in a power strip, the power strip is turned on, that this is turned on, and check the fuse. If all of those things are good, the fuse, the power, everything's good and your 3D printer still won't turn on, there's a pretty good chance that you need to replace that power supply. You, you can try and check, you know, the wiring to the switch, maybe the switch is bad, stuff like that. I'm not going to necessarily go over that because I don't want anybody to get electrocuted and come back to me over it, right? But, you know, there is a chance the switch is bad. And if you know how to check for that, maybe that's something you consider. So anyway, this was Keith from Kinvert, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.